Alright, hello viewers of this video, and welcome back to the Redstone Innovation channel. As you can see, we got another door for you guys. This one is a button-activated 3x3, and we're really excited to release it. Here it is opening. It's pretty fast. It's not too shabby. And then closed, it looks like that. Alright, so let's just go ahead and look at the wiring, I suppose. <laughs> okay. So here's all the wiring. As you can see, it's very compact. It's quite a bit more compact than our last design. Uh, the orange circuit here is the double extender. Pink blocks are blocks being pushed by pistons. The green is closing and first block retraction. Red is our input, and blue leads power all the way around. Now quickly, what I want to point out uh, before any of you guys get offended, this input is on the outside of the door, but uh, even if it wasn't, you'd be leading redstone into that block anyway. Yeah, so just keep that in mind and <laughs> know that we aren't cheating. Now if you notice here, the top piston is a bit delayed and that's because of this repeater right here. If you noticed over here, there isn't that problem and I'll go over how to fix that in the tutorial. Now quickly, before I start the tutorial, I do want to ask if you guys want a tutorial for this door right here. The mechanics are completely different and it's also a bit faster. But it does use this sand tower here to lead redstone around, and um, that way you can't fit it in a four wide wall like the one we're recording a tutorial for now. But let me know in the comments if you want a tutorial for it anyway, and I'll be happy to record one. Alright, so first off we're going to decide where we want our 3x3 door frame to be, and we're going to quickly get our materials. And we can go ahead and start placing our pistons. So here's our 3x3 doorway. What we're going to do is we're going to place a double extender uh, right there um, with the first piston on top of the floor. And this is our floor right here. You're going to place a storage piston on the side here on the left. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start the wiring for the bottom. We'll worry about the outside pistons later. What we're going to do is we're going to start off by placing a piston right there. This piston is a monostable piston and it's pushing blocks, so we're going to place a pink block right there. And then we can place our input. This is our input right here. And we'll go ahead and place a block to place our button on. I'm going to get started with the green circuit, and if you remember, that's the closing and first block retraction. So, we're going to take a signal from this piston monostable here into a repeater on one, into a block with redstone on top and then a block right there to power that top piston. This redstone is also going to be powering a piston right here and we're going to give it a block. Don't place it here but leave a block of air um, like that so this piston will be pulling it back. We're going to place a block underneath this piston here and put a torch on it. Then we're going to place two blocks here with redstone on top. Lead this redstone down into a repeater here block in front, torch on top, block above that torch, torch on top of that, and then finally, here let's just get rid of that, we're going to place a torch right there, we'll fix that up later. You're going to lead this redstone here into a repeater right there, and then into a block, and that should be our entire first block uh, retraction as well as our closing. Let's just go ahead and fix this, and we can try and run it. There it is closed. And there it is, the first block retracted. Now we can go ahead and get started on the orange double extender. Alright, so we got our orange wool. We're going to take a redstone repeater from this monostable here into a repeater on three ticks. Put a block in front with a redstone on top. Lead that redstone going up again. And then over into a repeater on two. That's going to power your floor right there. From here, you're going to go around to the back here. And then you're going to place a dropper right here and then place a hopper uh, shift click on that dropper to place it so it's facing like that and place a dropper right there P place one of any item into it I'm gonna go ahead and use dirt um, it's gonna go into the dropper over here and then from this hopper we're gonna lead a comparator and that's gonna power the bottom piston finally what we're gonna do is we're gonna lead this redstone going down into redstone right there into two repeaters going into that green block one on four, one on three. That should be it for the bottom circuit. Let's just go ahead and test it out. So we hit the button. There it is closed. And there it is retracted. Now we can go ahead and get started on the blue circuit and lead all the redstone around. 
All right, so we got our sticky pistons. What we're going to do is we're going to come and start on the left here. I place a sticky piston on top of that torch here. Then place a piston on top of that, piston on top of that. That's going to control all three of those. What we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing on the other side. We're going to place a piston on top of that redstone there. Two more above it like that. And then finally what we're going to do is we're going to take a piston and place it upside down to push that middle piston. This is going to be our blue circuit, so we're going to take our blue wool and we're going to place a block above that torch with a redstone on top. This is actually going to be your wall, so let me just get the wall material real fast. Lead redstone up there on top of your wall. Lead it back. You don't have to lead it over this piston. Then lead redstone going across onto your ceiling there. Lead it down here. Again, this is going to be your wall. And then lead it down once again um, to power that middle piston, and that will also power the bottom piston. And then finally, we're going to lead it up to power that top piston. We need to take a repeater and just lead it going into that uh, piston right there. Try it out. There it is closed. And there it is open. Um, now again, as I said, that top piston is a bit delayed. If that does bother you, um, then what you can do is you can go up here, get rid of that repeater, and then what I would do is I would just take that redstone, lead it up, and then back down. And then that will power that top piston without that repeater causing the delay. There you go. That's your entire 3x3 door done. Let's just go ahead and fill this thing in. What I like about this is that you can fill in all the corner blocks around the edge. So let's just go ahead and do this. Fill in our blocks. Really isn't much to it. Come around to the other side. And fill in our blocks. Oops. Fill in it in. Going across here and up the wall. Um, the only problem you uh, might encounter is if you want to place blocks here, that is going to cut off that redstone and it won't work. So what I would do is I would use uh, stairs, upside down stairs, or I use uh, half slabs. So there we go, that's your entire 3x3 door done and all filled in, made to look pretty. And I can take it home and uh, sleep with it, whatever you want to do. Once again, if you want a tutorial for the other faster uh, 3x3 over there that uses sand, go ahead and let me know in the comments, and I'll be happy to record it. Alright, so this has been the Redstone Innovation channel. Hope you guys enjoyed, and as always, we thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to check it out past stuff, come subscribe, and all the cool stuff, and we'll see you guys next time!